Let's take a look at an example in the editor. Let's explore how to write data to a file and then read its contents. We use the open function to open the file named output.txt. And we want this to be opened in write mode so we can write to the file. If the file does not exist, it will be created. If it already exists, its contents will be overwritten. Next, we use the write method on the file object. So we'll write file.write. We can write the string hello world and we'll add a new line character in there. Next, let's add another string that says this is a sample text. After writing the data, we close the file using file.close. It's essential to close the file after writing to ensure that all data is properly saved. Let's run that and see what happens. Looks like we might have forgotten to save our new file to a variable called file. Now we don't see an error and we see the output.txt file over here and we can see that the information that we gave in our program is now saved to that file. Let's see how we can add additional lines to this file. Now, instead of using write mode with our file, let's use append mode, which is an A. This allows us to add data to the end of a file without overwriting its existing content. If the file does not exist, it will be created. Let's write three new lines to the file. I'll just write new line one with a new line, new line two and three, and then close the file. Let's see how it works. If we check our file now, we see that we have all of the information that we added using the write function. We can see that we didn't include a new line character after the sample text, so new line one comes directly after this is a sample text. Appending data is useful when you want to add new information to an existing file without losing that original content.